back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lily. Welcome. My channel is a place where I share all of my healthy, vegan, mostly whole food, plant-based recipes with all of you. Today, I'm sharing another dessert recipe. This one, I absolutely love. So I've made brownies before. It was actually like one of my first videos. It was sweet potato brownies, and those are really, really good. But they do taste a little healthier, I guess. And they are healthy, that's probably why. But these are also really healthy, but they are a little more decadent, a little more fudgy, and really, really good. And they also have a swirl of peanut butter on the top. So these are my peanut butter swirl fudgy brownies. So let's go ahead and jump into the recipe. I'm gonna show you how to make these for yourself because after seeing this, you're gonna want to, trust me. So to start off, you're gonna need one ripe avocado, and we're gonna do our wet ingredients first. Beautiful. So I'm just gonna squeeze that in the bowl. We're gonna mash it so it doesn't have to look nice. Then you're also gonna need two really ripe bananas. Mine look super brown, but that's because they've been in the fridge. If you put ripe bananas in the fridge, they turn brown, but they're still good. Okay, and I'm just gonna use a potato masher to get these good and mashed. You can also use a fork. So if you haven't yet, preheat your oven to 375 degrees. And you want this to be really smooth. You don't really want any chunks in it. And that looks good. Next, we're gonna add our sugar. I'm gonna be using date sugar. I find that this is the most whole food sugar you can really use. Um, if, you're, if you like it, you can use coconut sugar or you could use regular sugar. Uh, I'm not sure if a liquid sweetener would work as good in this recipe, but you could try using maple syrup as well. This is a really big batch of brownies also. It's going to make some pretty thick brownies. So I am doing one cup of sugar, thick sugar. If I have it, literally I had one cup left. Perfect. It smells so good. One cup of soy milk. This is just unsweetened, but you could use sweetened or even vanilla flavored soy milk. That's just shy of one cup. Pour that straight in here. Next, I'm gonna put half a cup of water in here and I'm gonna microwave it for about two to three minutes just to get that water boiling. And then once I have the boiling water, I'm just gonna set it aside and then put the chocolate chips in here. While my water is microwaving, I'm just gonna give this a good mix. I'm gonna go ahead and add the salt into the liquids. I find that it immerses better if you add it to the liquids versus the dry. So I'm gonna do half a teaspoon of salt. Next, I'm gonna be using the Hershey's cocoa, the special dark. You could use any kind of cocoa powder, but I love the dark. So I'm gonna be doing half a cup of this. Before I mix this up, I'm gonna go ahead and measure out one cup of chocolate chips. This is premium baking chips. It's actually made with oat milk and it's 75% dark chocolate. This is what is going to make them really fudgy because we're going to melt this chocolate. Okay, so I've been microwaving this water. It is boiling literally still right now. So you want to add your boiling water after you add the cocoa powder. So that's why I did not mix it in yet. This is going to kind of melt the cocoa powder and really, really help make these really fudgy. that together. I know some of you may have made a chocolate cake like this before. This is where I got the method from because I made a chocolate cake one time and you added the boiling water to it and it really really helps with the texture and the flavor of the chocolate. Now I'm gonna add my chocolate chips to my measuring cup and I'm gonna microwave these in 30 second increments until they are nice and melted and I'm gonna stir them each time as well. 
This is after the first 30 seconds. You definitely want to stir it or your chocolate could burn. You could also use the double boiler method to melt your chocolate. I just like less dishes, so doing it this way. What's really nice about using the melted chocolate is that as they cool, they start to harden a little bit, and that really helps the brownies have a really fudgy, decadent texture. And this is after a minute. It's already super melty, so I'm just gonna continue stirring it, and it's gonna get all those lumps out. And I know this seems like a ton of chocolate, but I actually doubled my regular recipe so that we could get thick, fudgy brownies. Okay, so that's all of the wet ingredients. For the flour, I use a combination of almond flour and regular flour, so I'm gonna do one cup of almond flour. I just really love the texture the almond flour gives, and you know, it cuts down on the regular flour. And almonds are super healthy, so why not? And I like to mix the almond flour in first to get any clumps out. Because if you add the regular flour and then mix it that much, it's going to get overmixed. all-purpose flour and then to that I'm gonna do one tablespoon of baking powder just to let them rise a little bit and this is just personal preference but I like cinnamon in my brownies just you know a little bit really enhances the cocoa powder flavor okay now let's mix these together I'm gonna get a spatula in here Delicious does that look. Mm. All right, set that aside. Okay, I've got a nine by nine baking pan and I am gonna actually, I typically try not to do this, but since these are my new pans and I do not want them to get ruined, I wanna maintain their non-stickiness, I'm gonna do like the teeniest amount of olive oil on the pan, like a half a teaspoon. And I'm just gonna use my fingers to like spread it around. Literally a little goes a long way. And I don't even think it needs this, but I just don't want them to stick and I don't want my pan to get ruined. Okay, thinnest layer of oil possible. And then in goes our delicious brownie batter. Like I said, these are gonna be thick brownies. I'm so excited. Oh no, there's flour clump. Let's get that mixed in. All right, got it all in the pan. It's all spread evenly. Next is the fun part, it's the peanut butter swirl. So we've been buying this once again, peanut butter. Once again, creamy, it's unsweetened, doesn't have anything added to it, not even salt. And it's really creamy in texture. So I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna do probably about five or six globs, like tablespoons on top and just spread them out. I like to do one in each corner. Okay, and then you're gonna need something to swirl it with. I like to use something that's not gonna scratch my pan. I'm gonna use this chopstick, wooden chopstick. So you just kinda wanna mix the peanut butter in there in like a swirly way. Kinda like that. Ooh, that's pretty. You don't wanna mix it too much cause then it'll lose like the peanut buttery color and it'll just mix it in. Ooh, 
Ooh, that looks so good. Okay. These are gonna go into the oven for about 30 minutes and then I'm gonna check them. Could possibly need another five minutes, but I'll show you what they look like when they get out. I'm so excited, they look delicious. So I just took the brownies out of the oven. They look even better than I remember from last time and I'm super excited. I'm gonna let these cool for like an hour. I want them to be completely cooled off before I cut into them and try them. Okay, so these have been cooling for a little bit. Mm, I'm about to cut one and give it a taste. They're still a little warm, but that's okay. Talking about brownie heaven. Mmm. Oh, that looks heavenly. Let me give it a taste. I can use my little carrot spoon. How cute is that? Mmm. <laughs> this looks so perfect. Delicious, a little swirl of peanut butter on top. Mm. Oh my god. I can't describe to you how good it is because it's so perfect. So fudgy. Almond flour really does the trick in this recipe as well as the hot water to the cocoa powder and the melted chocolate. Those three things combined makes the perfect brownie. Now I'm telling you, you need to go make this right now. So stop the video. I'll have the recipe linked in the description down below. Go make these. You will be thanking me later. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I appreciate you watching today and I hope that you decide to try these and if you do comment down below and let me know if you like them which I'm sure you will mm. I will see you very soon in the next video bye